Kei te whare tu aranga tira, te atiawa, tātou ko tuoe hui hui mai nei i raro i te kaupapa o tīnei rangi tēnā koutou. Tēnei anō e mihi atira ki te kāwana tianara, Dame Hetsi Wedi. Nui te whakāro mō, me o kaha ki te arahi tēnei o ngā kaupapa. Tatua tura ki a koe, ka hurangi tari ana tūria. Ko koe te tihi o ngā rama mō tēnei kaupapa. Nō reira ka nui te mihi atu. Atura i tērā, ko koe te koromatua e Justin, Hei, tauira mai tēnei kaupapa kei wainga nui i ngā kaunihera arohi. Nō reira, kia koutou katoa ngā rangatira ngā mana tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou ngā hiwi, nau i pōwhiri mai ki a mātou ki a hara mai, ki te tautoko tēnei whakarewa tanga o te kaupapa nei. Nō reira, ka nui te mihi atu ki a koe, ki a ramenea hoki. I wanted to really take the opportunity to say that this is pretty busy, Pere. <laughs> to see, you know, just, just in your own language, to see that we can come together a month early, a month early, yeah, to be able to launch the kind of uh, aspiration that we have uh, for Te Reo Māori. And we're doing it across our whole community. There was a time when Māori would be celebrating Te Reo Māori and, and our own ambition for it, but now so many more New Zealanders are reaching into the ambition to be a part of this movement uh, that we can all take pride from. Poipoia te kākono ki a puawe. The simple whakatauki reminds us that if we nurture the seed, it will blossom. Tauira pai tēra, mihi mea ka rungoau ki te naho o kōrero, ahakoa he iti te reo me timata, me timata tātou. And that's the thing that has changed. There would have been a time then that many Māori would have felt so inadequate in not being able to speak Māori, ashamed almost. Because of things that had happened in the past, we are well beyond that point. We do not need to make excuses anymore because we are an encouraging group of citizens now who say, even though it's a little bit, let's start somewhere. And we want to continue it down that path. So I really acknowledge uh, the message in your speech, Ngā Hiwi, about wrapping our arms around everyone who wants to start somewhere. So today, as we nurture the seed of Te Reo Māori, uh, we think about how, how uh, we can continue to ensure uh, that the soil uh, that that seed is growing in can continue to grow and prosper. Our aspiration for Te Reo Māori is at a really important juncture. On the one hand, there has been, never been more public support than ever. And the interest in re revitalisation is now spanning into the corporate sector, which in ways never seen before, they are generating a whole different contribution mm. in, in new technology and storytelling and the way that we brand ourselves as a country that we must try and ensure continues to grow in a way that works with us and our ambition to revitalise Te Māori. And I think much of that has been because over a long period of time, many have contributed to the legacy that has been created around ensuring that Te Reo Māori is embedded in the fabric of who we are as a country, as a nation. So I want to acknowledge uh, certainly the work of Te Tauta Whiri because you have been key to this. I want to acknowledge partner agencies who are part of this as well. Te Māngai Pāho, Whakāta Māori. I want to acknowledge uh, that as we have matured our contribution in the real space, our educators, uh, our school system are building on this whole aspiration to ensure that from Kohanga Reo to Kura Kaupapa to Wharekura to Wharewānanga to the big wide world that is out there, there is a whole lot of contributors to this aspiration. Te mātā waikanu te mihi atu ki a koutou anō hoki. So this is an important time to revitalise Te Reo Māori, it's a tāonga, integral to the fabric of who we are, our cultural and national identity. And it creates that sense of common purpose for many people, many people in our country. Ko te reo te Māori o te mana Māori, the language is the life force of mana Māori. Of, and I wanted to just take a moment, because when we all came in, we would have seen the many photos that were scrolling through, of people who have contributed their heads, hearts, and, my, and, and, and purpose to ensuring that Te Reo Māori could grow in a way that would continue to be embedded, as I say, in the fabric of New Zealand. 
And when I look at some of the photos, I think of some of the nannies I grew up with and had the privilege to just sit alongside as a kid at their, at their knees. And I think about um, Auntie Ina, and I think about Media Simpson, and, I, and you will think about many of those photos and recall and, and reflect on how passionate they were. And those early champions uh, who uh, really carved the way for us. The protection and promotion of Te Reo uh, Tikanga Māori as a tongue is embodied in, the, in our founding document, the Treaty of Waitangi, and also in the Treaty of Waitangi Act of 1975. As you know, the movement to revive Te Reo Māori in Aotearoa New Zealand started at a grassroots level with Kohanga Reo. And I want to mihi to the representatives of the Trust Board that are here uh, today because that legacy means our kids can stand proud in who they are in their cultural identity and still venture forth into this global community that we are living in. The urgent response to the loss of our language and culture was led by our whānau for our whānau. Prominent Māori leaders led the change and they led the charge to establish their first kōhanga reo founded in 1982. This movement, as you know, led to a number of significant moments for Māori which reaffirmed that Te Reo Māori is an important part of who we are, our identity, and provides the platform for how we connect to ourselves, yes, but to others domestically and across the Indigenous uh, communities. The Māori Language Act in 1987 declared Te Reo Māori to be an official language of New Zealand and set up Te Daura Whiri Te Reo Māori to, to promote Māori language. During that same period of time, we had changes to other bits of legislation that helped the Broadcasting Act, the way in which Te Māngai Pāho could contribute to funding and ensuring content could be created, reaffirming the place of our language in our broadcasting community. The Education Amendment Act, 1989, recognising and promoting kura kaupapa and whare wānanga. The establishment of Māori TV in 2004. So there is a legacy of change that many, many people have contributed to, so we arrive at this moment. I want to acknowledge uh, Dame Tariana, uh, the vision and foresight to change the way in which legislation could reflect Māori aspiration. It wasn't an easy thing, and I know, uh, to change uh, the Māori Language Act to Te Turi o Te Reo Māori and embed a different approach, to a, a, in a partnership approach, to revitalising Te Reo Māori. And you know what? That was exactly what was needed. A different model, a different way of thinking, an Ao Māori perspective. We supported it in opposition because it was the right thing to do. You led out and I want to acknowledge that leadership. That new model that was created really urged us to think about the way in which, yes, government has a core responsibility to contribute to, but actually when we think about the aspirations of our people, kia u kaipo, te reo Māori, we have to go back to the way in which our whānau, our hapu and our iwi, our communities, our marae, start to contribute to that aspiration too. And we're in that place right now. Since 1975 we've celebrated Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori and each year a particular theme guides our celebrations. <coughs> Themes have ranged from Te Reo i Te Kainga, uh, Māori language in the home to Aruhatia, Te Reo, Cherish the Language. At its heart, Māori Language Week has two simple <coughs> messages. Mo Te Reo Māori, Mā Tātou Katsua, Te Reo Māori is for you and for everyone. He Māori Te Reo Māori no Aotearoa. Te Reo Māori is an essential part of what makes us New Zealand. Māori Language Week, as we have seen over the past few short years, grown from strength to strength. In fact, it's a celebration and a festival of the vibrancy that exists. Te Teira Whiri Te Reo Māori has been an in, uh, integral to that success and I acknowledge your leadership and hard work. I want to acknowledge also the energy that you've brought back into this space in a way now that everybody feels that actually why are we just doing it for a week? Let's do it for a month, let's do it all year and I think people are talking in that way which means it's probably sinking in in the way that, that you had intended. Last year, Kia Kaha Te Reo Māori was one of the most successful campaigns we have seen. You can be very proud of 
your contribution to that Te Tauta Whiri Te Reo Māori. Communities across Aotearoa New Zealand knew what Kia Kaha meant and were able to see themselves in the message, see themselves as a part of the campaign and see themselves being a champion alongside Dame Patsy Reddy, Guy on Espiner and Peter Wehorn. <laughs> I know sustainable change can only be achieved in partnership and with iwi and communities. Whānau are fundamental to that change, they are all part of those change agents and getting that intergenerational shift that we also urgently contribute and want to see as necessary. As I mentioned earlier, we now have a different approach to language revitalisation in Aotearoa, one that requires both the Crown and Māori to work in partnership. And that's going to take a little bit of time, but not too long, I hope. Because by launching the Mahi Krona at Te Matatini this year, it was a clear signal to say it's time now for the public sector to do its part. And while I accept transition times are necessary, I don't accept that there can be a delay because there's no strategy or ambition to where we need to be. And that was the purpose of launching the Mahi Krona. So, there were some, three, there were some uh, bold, audacious goals that we launched uh, within the strategy. The first one was to have Te Reo Māori recognised and valued as a key element of our national identity. We're on track. Second, to have one million New Zealanders speaking basic Te Reo. Well, we've got to broaden out and make sure we can do that. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, uh, that we would have 150,000 New Zealanders speaking Te Reo Māori as their primary language and all by 2040. Now we, we achieved the coup. Usually the Minister of Māori Development would deliver strategies in this space. But I said to the Prime Minister, look, would you be prepared to launch the Mahi Krona because it's a, it's a clear signal right from the very top of the leadership of this country that there is a commitment. And she said, yes, I would do it. So we saw her uh, um, launching that at, at Te Matatini. Um, but more importantly, you know what the, the clinch to getting here to launch it was? I said, we can achieve all of this by the time needs 21. And she said, she thought about it like that and she said, yes, we can. <laughs> and, so, and so that that's it. There is commitment from us to make that Mikey Krona work. So our plan for what the Crown can do to reach that goal complements the Mikey Māori, which is led out by Iwi, by Māori. And it works together. We want to ensure that by 2040, when we commemorate 200 years since the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi, a significant milestone will have occurred and we can all be proud for what we've contributed to it. Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori has become a key platform for increasing the value and the use of Te Reo Māori throughout Aotearoa and strengthening who we are as a people, as a nation. I think it's an important time also for us to say we're all in this together and we've all got something to contribute. So no matter who you are, where you work, whether you're in the private or public sector, whatever your role is in society, we can all do this together. Nō reira, he te anō hei tāpari atu ki te kaupapa matua, ke mui te aroro, te whakarewa tia tēnei o ngā hia hia kia rire ai tō katau nei reo Māori, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Kia ora.